People's Park Complex is real, very rare gem that you should at least take a look. Good location. Number two is about one million budget. This is a very sweet spot for a lot of investors. Uh, high rental you. Car rental for a room in this location, I think it's going through the roof. The reason why we're doing a video about uh, this particular development, right, is because we realized that uh, us being agents, right, sometimes we even miss out on yeah. the polish gems. You know, like if Dennis was not told by his customer about People's Park yep. Complex, I don't think this is a development he would even yeah. think to look into. It was brought up to me by a client mm. who showed me all the math and numbers and we actually went into very details yeah, to calculate. Yeah. But first and foremost, we have to tell the audience where exactly is right. People's Park right. Complex. Right. It's in town area. Mm. Near to 3MRT, MRT that itself. itself is a rarity. It's a mixed development. So they actually, it, the tenure is from 1968 and the remaining lease is less than 60 years. Mm. So this is one scary part that most people <laughs> will avoid. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Yeah. The, I think that that is the biggest factor why people are not really looking into People's Park Complex. Yeah. Actually. It's, too, it's actually quite, quite old. Okay, a bit of history located at the foot of Pearl's Hill, formerly known as the People's Market with a lot of outdoor stores. And uh, it was destroyed by a fire in 1966. Mm. And this is the first mixed-use mixed use bu building of its own in Southeast South Asia. Asia. Yeah. Other than the history, uh, we talk about prices now. Okay, so what exactly are the units going for over here? If you tell me that this uh, unit or this project is near to 3MRT, near to 5MRT, I think there are quite a lot of uh, options. Yes. But when I tell you that this unit is uh, near to 3MRT and the price is about less than 1 million. Oh, oh unbelievable. Wow, wow. I think the, 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 the few, you filter down to not that many choices. Four yeah. different lines. Uh, on average, the PSF is about uh, 800 plus. That's right. That is based on the 2021 transactions. If you multiply that by the size, we are talking about uh, 900k or a little bit uh, below a million. Note that there are, dif there are different sizes in this project, mm. but we are talking about specifically this uh, 1,100, 2,200 square foot, mostly in the range of uh, below 1 mil. Yeah, mm. so this is actually a very comfortable budget uh, for, for investor. And the third point, very high rental yield. Oh. <laughs> On the average, right, according to square foot updated in February 2022, mm. the average rental yield is about 4.5%. So that means considering all the big units, small units, everything together. But as we mentioned, we are talking about this uh, 1,100 to 1,200 square foot unit itself. So I'm sure that for this particular unit, because uh, most of these units, right, mm. they are called the three bedrooms. But in actual fact, they've been partitioned into five to six bedrooms mm. or even more than that. The rental you can be going for as high as up to 6%. Wow, that is yeah. in fact, actually very impressive. Yeah. That is very impre impressive. impressive. In fact, the average uh, year of 4.5% right is considered on the high side already mm, 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 to be re for residential property mm. don't don't take what I say but let me show you some of the listings uh, current listing in the mm. public guru so um, on the left hand side you see that uh, the, this agent will advertise as 6% rental you and bear in mind that that's a 1.5 million asking price wow yeah wow, wow, wow. then on the right hand side you have this 1173 square foot indicated as 5 bedroom so there are a lot of this unit size that's being partitioned into five or even more bedrooms itself. Can I uh, repeat what you said? Mm. It is uh, 1,173 uh, square feet unit. It's a three bedder, mm. but they modify it into a six yeah. bedder, five or six bedder. That's right. Okay. Uh, when we are reviewing with this client, yep. I reminded him that, hey, uh, in Singapore, by law, you're not supposed to have six unrelated tenants. That's mm. correct. So th then we had, we had a sparring uh, session, came down to this conclusion. But uh, look for those only 1,100 to 1,200 square foot unit. Why? Ma maximum partition into five bedrooms or max six. And mm. each room on average is going out for like 1,001. If you're uh, talking about um, renting out in individually, individually, I think uh, in that location, uh, with Wi Fi, let's put uh, 1,200 per, yes. per room. Five bedrooms, you rent out to one bedroom as about 1,200 per month. Mm. Five bedroom times this rental, mm. about your return Sorry. is about 6,000. Yes. So assuming that you are uh, investing one million, yep. so that's easily six percent. Right. That's why I say this rental yield is quite high. Assuming you can take thirty years maximum loan, mm. and the uh, interest rate is at currently about one percent. Sure. So look at this table. The your money mortgage will be about two thousand four hundred dollars per month, mm. and if you can rent out your room a thousand two per month, you are taking back six thousand. So you have still about three thousand as per cash. Mm. Worst case scenario, you can only rent out three rooms. You yeah. still will not make any losses, uh. mm. and you only need to come out with the first twenty five percent. Uh, down payment. But then it's one of the interest rate increase. Yeah. Ah. This is a very good question. Let's do this uh, scenario ah, analysis. Okay. Assuming that the interest rate rise by double to 2%, you 
your money mortgage will still be about 2700 hey, still not so bad yeah. right. this is actually a very old style architecture in singapore which was very popular in 1950 to 1970s this in the original uh, people's park right actually it's not yellow and green it's only later on they color it into a uh, very retro green yellow got a lot of history yes in fact the building is very iconic wherever you're in the ultram park area retro yeah very very, 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 very retro, retro actually yeah. Yeah. It's always very prominent, but it really never crossed my mind until my client brought this out, which is a true true case in our case itself. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Huh? Mm-hmm. No, it, it, mm-hmm. it is. It is. Uh, this project might not be for everyone. It is a decaying lease. Mm. The lease is less than six years. That's a worry, right? The on block is not guaranteed in a sense. Yeah. I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, oh, there's so much upside and not not much downside to this. Actually, it might sound like very um, potential um, candidate for on block. But bear in mind that from what we heard, there are a few on block attempts, mm. but it was all blocked by the commercial owners. Basically, the, the residential tenants versus the commercial tenants, or the owners. So this is going to take some time, but I believe that given time, as the, as the building continue to age, yeah. for those people who have uh, parked there, you know the car park is very, very narrow, yes. very, very yeah. unwelcoming. So given time, uh, with electric cars, everything, mm. it might be a problem or hazard. This is a long-term game. Uh, so yeah. not for everyone, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. For any one of you watching this, if you're interested to find out more about uh, unpolished gems similar to People's Park Complex, feel free to give us a call and we will very much like to assist you in finding an unpolished gem like that. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.